All right, welcome to the P114 Filmmakers Podcast. Uh, this is uh, Season 1, Episode 7. I'm Jesse Knight. I'm Randall Lanier. This is Nate Ford. And we're here to talk about all things filmmaking. And uh, today we're going to continue our October Scarathon by continuing uh, talking about some scary things. And today we are going to try our best to target... Um, scary horror related halloween related television shows and series and that kind of stuff of course it is a conversation so we may venture off the path and go here and there but that is our prime target today so uh who wants to take it away first what's a what's a what's a show that um that comes to mind when you think of like horror like tv generally we think of like a movie or something like that but um there i go saying that again uh but like a TV show uh, early on, like maybe we could start off with the earliest, scariest thing, a foray into horror as far as TV show. And I would say probably uh, Scooby-Doo, which you <laughs> generally think of as laughing and stuff, but that's probably the first time it I saw scary. a bat. Yeah. I saw, uh, a, a, you know, monsters of all kinds and, and they were it sort was, of solving movies. Yeah. It's sort of a formula that you see happen later on. You could even argue that something like The X-Files is loosely related to that same kind of formula. They have a few people trying to figure out what this is. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it, it's been used and used and used, uh, you know. I mean, it started in the 60s, and it was old when I watched it as a kid. <laughs> Just compared to you know, when I watched that movie, it was the 80s. Right. When I grew up, it was, it was old then. I know, and you wonder if it was sort of maybe influenced by some earlier shows like Twilight Zone, Outer Limits, uh, that kind of nature. You know, pretty interesting. You get a good mixed bag of different kinds of creatures and mythologies and, 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 and things. Yeah. Um, so, what can we it say? There was about always this? that guy who ran their carnival. That was his, it was the old man who ran the carnival, always who did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. You actually make a point. You said carnival. Mm -hmm. Did you guys ever watch that show on HBO called Carnival? That's yeah, that's on the list, list actually. Oh, Carney, really? And everybody yeah. said uh, Carney Val. Actually. Funny Val, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's spelled the same way. <laughs> Funny story. So I was a kid when that first came out, and like really small. I remember my grandma, my mom, and my aunt Kim were upstairs watching it, and I was always interested in what everybody else was watching, especially if they said I couldn't watch it, because <laughs> I was even more interested. Right, they got me. So I remember I was behind the couch, and I remember I was like this. No one heard me, which they didn't pay attention. And I was watching it. I remember stuff was going on. You know, there was a lot of nudity, cussing, and I remember a lot of like horrifying things were happening, just from like my childhood memory. And I just had the best time watching it. And no one knew I was there, but I was watching Carnival with them. They had no idea. They told me I couldn't watch it. It was a great show. Great show. I wish. I remember I watched it. It came. I don't know if it was what I watched it on, but I looked it up and I watched a couple episodes on like YouTube or something. And it just brought back all the great memories. And I was, I don't even know, how, what year did that come out? It was like 2004? Early 2000 sometime, yeah. 2002? I'll have to look it up at some point. But yeah, Carnival. Yeah. I had to mention that. Carnival is kind of neat because it reminded me there was a movie, and it was also a book, um, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Carnival. Which I know it's not a TV show, but excellent movie if you get a chance to see it. But it had a carnival comes to town, but it's all wicked with scary stuff and, and everything. So it kind of reminds me of that. And then uh, more recently with American Horror Story, the uh, Freak Show, Freak show yeah. one, there's a lot of similarities. I mean, Freak Show is way more over the top yeah. than, than Carnival and, and that kind of stuff. But they're very similar in a lot of ways, I think. Yeah. Twisted. Mm -hmm. And then also, speaking of freaks, uh, there's a movie called Freaks that I don't know if any of you have seen, but it's uh, got, it's an older black and white movie, but it is really weird, really interesting um, kind of movie. I would definitely see that. I'd see both Freaks and uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes. They're just really good stories. Okay. Freaks was made entirely with uh, people actually with all kinds of... Um, syndromes and and uh, uh yes you know and it, all the actors were were that way they weren't um people in makeup or anything like that like and this freak show was yeah american horror story mm -hmm. much i appreciated it mm -hmm. you know like the guy with the arms yeah you know, that was great like it's it's not that it's creepier but it's like it, it you have more compassion for it too. It mm -hmm. opens the light to it, you know, with the little girl. And, oh yeah. You know, I just I like it. It's more than just scary. It's, yeah. It says something. My friends were kind of 
when I first saw Freaks, they were like, oh yeah, this is the new David Lynch movie. And I was like, oh yeah? And then it was, it's totally not David Lynch, but you, you can kind of see why they said that, because it's so weird. It's so strange, you know. Oh my gosh. Uh, somebody else take over? Let me look up that. Right. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I'm not watching. But Carnival, have you y'all seen Carnival? I have never seen. Oh, Carnival. that's you. You would really like a great I story. Heard of it, but I great story. Never watched it. I yeah, totally. Thirty-two was. Thirty-two. Was, Thirty-two was when that movie was wow. made. Freaks. I I highly recommend seeing that. Um, good movie, really. I will note that. Really strange, yeah. But but excellent material. But Carnival was really cool. Like. Um, it got canceled, right? Though they ended it where there's sort of there was a big change and everything and stuff. So I guess you could kind of end it that way. But it was. I don't even know how they ended. I like I said, I was a kid when it came out. Mm -hmm. Never got to finish it. I just remember seeing butts and boobs. And well, yeah, gore. you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. But, but it I was feel like I said, like older. I went back watched like half episode because it was on YouTube, so quality wasn't that good. But yeah. Yeah. Is it like a sound? Horror film? Like, there's no... Uh, Freaks has got sound in it, yeah. They had, uh... They had... They had sound equipment stuff. It was an early sound film. Um, you know, the, the movie I made y'all watch, uh, 39 Steps, yeah. made around about that time. About that same quality of sound. But not bad. You know, everything's there. Uh, Carnival was made... It took place in the Great Depression, and, um... It came out, it went, I think, 2003 and 2005, and it only had two seasons before they canceled it. But uh, Why did this, they cancel There was a reason they canceled it, because I feel like I remember. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it was just like the viewership wasn't there. Um, it's sort of like, it kind of went the way of like Firefly. A lot of people kind of had a cult following, yeah. but it ended anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then I saw it after the fact. You know, I had a friend that had the DVD collection, and, and so I borrowed it and just ate it up uh i borrowed that and rome funny enough i don't know if it's totally not horror but if you've seen that series a really good really good tv series um so like yeah circus freak horror all that kind of thing has is, is always been kind of interesting okay um what are some other um horror tv shows that come to mind for you guys i want to say tales from the crypt um and i'm definitely going to say twilight zone Right. Uh, Twilight Zone, the one where, um, I don't know if you guys seen the episode, I'm talking about the one that was made in maybe the 60s. Uh, I think it was the 60s. All black and white, yeah. I believe so, yeah. Um, yeah. With Rod Serling. Um, mm -hmm. One of the episodes, it was uh, the, a girl, she was um, she was hot in the sun, she was about to melt her and her mother and her child, they were about to melt to death in the house, but it was all a dream, mm -hmm. so she was asleep. And when she woke up, it was freezing. It was just really cold. So I don't know. It was, it was just it was really strange. Um, and another one is the one with the guy that was. It's called So Lonely. And um, um, he was uh, he he. I guess he had committed a crime on Earth or something. He committed a crime, and uh, I guess he may have killed somebody. Maybe it was by accident or something like that. And. And uh, he didn't have no uh, body with him. He was segregated in another planet, and he didn't have nobody with him. And uh, the guy, one of his friends, brought him back a gift, and it was just a metal robot. And I thought that was the most eeriest thing to watch. Like, it was really eerie. I love... Um, I've seen those two episodes. Uh, you yeah, haven't seen them. Another two episodes, episodes yeah, in one. Yeah, was there was one that I had um, this guy... I remember... Actually, no, my favorite one, which I've seen... So many times, which tells you something, mm -hmm. um, where the girl, and it's got such a great little, I don't know if it's like you would call it a metaphor or what, or what you would even call this, but it kind of teaches you something about life and stuff. So she wakes up in a hospital and you can't see her face the whole time. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. well, you know what you're talking about? And yeah. so then she's like, they're basically the doctors, you hear their voices at first, you hear all the nurses and stuff tell her it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, we fixed it as well as we could. And I know but she's like basically about, yeah. they're basically saying you just keep getting prettier or they're they're no they're then eventually they show and back that up they eventually show their doctors faces and nurses and like a whole bunch of pig faces and stuff they're calling her ugly oh, yeah yeah the it's, it's called it's called um 
Beauty is in the I I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. One, yeah. That I was trying to remember the name. I'm glad you brought it up. That stuff is relevant today. It is it relevant. It's relevant today. Everybody's getting their face fixed and all the, this stuff. Like the, the and, girl, and it's yeah. funny because they don't. I'm not, I can't, I'm not saying it's for everybody. <coughs> and you know what? Some people they need it for like medical reasons. They mm-hmm. to be able to breathe or whatever the case may be. And look, I had a hole in my face. I took it off. I thought it was ugly. Okay, mm-hmm. we all do our things. Mm-hmm. And I've done other things to my body. But sometimes I've noticed that the more you try to make yourself look better, you end up looking worse. Yeah, yeah. that's just my opinion, depending mm-hmm. on the situation of the person. But yes, great show. Yeah. Um, I love that episode. And I also love the episode with the doll, where um, the dad gets the doll for the little girl. And I don't know if they had already had the doll or not, but the doll keeps messing with his head. Mm-hmm. And it keeps like showing us, kind of like Annabelle. It was like the first Annabelle. <laughs> that was good. The- yeah. There was the the woman who played in that behind the behind the hold the the actress who played the the beautiful woman. Uh huh. She actually I know this has nothing to do with horror, but she actually was the same actress who played Ellie Mae on Beverly Hillbillies later on. No way. It's the same actress. Wow. I know it doesn't really matter to y'all, but it's it's just like it's just a little bit of trivia. Um, Um, as far as Twilight Zone goes, the one that I can't um, get out of my head is the one where. It's the post-apocalypse, and there's this old man wandering around afterwards, and he, you know, he finally finds a library, mm-hmm. and it's filled mm-hmm. with books, and he's elated, and then he breaks his glasses. Right. <laughs> yeah, he wears the glasses. And there's no the one the that can, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's just... And that's that's the, that's then he's the, blind the, in the post-apocalypse, and, the, and they kind of leave him there, and it kind of yeah, ends... Sadly. Sadly, yeah, yeah. for it's sure. So there, there's a few of my like, uh, the one where it's to serve man, where the yeah, aliens, we, uh, the aliens come down, da- these aliens come down, yeah. and they have a uh, a, uh, a like a the, what they say is a uh, book that they have they carry a book and it's, it's on the cover of the book is called to serve man, right. yeah. and they say yeah hey, it's to serve man okay cool. And then it turns out it's a cookbook. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, who wrote Twilight Zone, man? He has some Probably cool. a different Rod, writer. Rod Serling did some of them. Yeah, yeah he Rod did Rod some Rod. of them. He did some of them. Yeah, he, did. he was the host. Yeah. yeah. He was the creator, this basically, is, of the show. But that was the most advanced yeah. show in that time mm-hmm. frame yeah. that I could ever... Yeah. Ever go back. It, it was it was advanced. It was it's still relevant to this day. Everything that's in that show. It's yeah. kind of interesting how horror thematically um, maybe wasn't. It was sort of like a fringe interest yeah. early on. You know, um, I would have when I was even a kid in the eighties. I would have never thought the number one television show in America would be a show about zombies, but. There you go. It is. I mean, Walking Dead. Walking I never would have thought Walking yeah. Dead would have ever, you know, been there. People would have laughed, you know, because people weren't really. They were kind of in the horror, but almost as a sideshow, as it, an attract. Yeah. You know, people Why? didn't really consider it art too much. No. You know, but then it. Guess what? Look today. We we yeah. made a whole list of TV shows. You know, like most recently, uh, House on Haunted Hill. Like. That's based on a book written in the 50s, and a bunch of movies have been made before the series, you know, um, Salem, uh, 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 Being Human, right? Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, American Horror Story, uh, a little bit older, but X-Files is like a big one. We could, t- we could talk for several episodes just about the X-Files itself. Um, then I'd, I'd mention Goosebumps, which probably, I didn't grow up watching, but I'm sure maybe some of y'all grew up watching that. I still watch it. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's not sad. That's good. I you know. I ask myself every time I'm watching an episode. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. But I want to watch the next episode. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Okay, it's so terrible. It's so good. Yeah. I just had this conversation. You probably we're closer in age. Yeah. You're yeah. older than me, but you're still closer. So you yeah. probably grew up on Goosebumps too. I, I love it. the books. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love the idea of them. But my thing is, is like you can't possibly sit here, RL Stein, and say that was like the most phenomenal, like idea ever because it, it, it really was. there's there's it's, one where there's a sponge an evil sponge which okay i guess it, there's yeah there's an evil sponge one but there's one that's like really good that's got this mask where you're like this girl puts a mask on it was actually creepy it was in the later years um 
you know, I get that he didn't like film all these, but he was he wrote it. So like, the, I don't know if his idea in the book was like just enhanced when he got to the screen. But some of the episodes, I was just like, oh god, no. Yeah. But you know, it's for kids. Like I remember being a kid reading it. I don't know, did you ever read the book? Yeah, so, yeah, the book. Yeah, yeah like I mean, you know, so good. The books, I gotta stop giving books so good with the show. I mean. Today, I look at it as kind of cringy, but it was also good. Yeah. I mean, it was also good for that time frame. Yeah, like I said, I'm still a fan. Let me not act like I hate it. It, wasn't, I it wasn't like, to me, really like necessarily scary, but... For a kid, it was. Gosh. Just, I don't know, just certain things about it. I don't think it was really all that scary. Okay, I'm, I used to be scared of everything. For such a poor fanatic, I'm scared of everything. <laughs> um, I'm numb to being scared. I'm looking for that fear. You know, I'm looking for... Watch City of the Living Dead. That, that, that movie that I was telling you. Yeah. About, that girl was throwing up her intestines, that shit. Uh, There's uh, a lot of gnarly scenes in that spot mm -hmm. that I'd heard about, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a movie, by the way, uh, guys. City of the Living Dead and uh, The Exorcist. Uh, mm -hmm. The Exorcist. The oh, original yeah. Exorcist? Yeah, the original. Yeah. Ah, that's yeah. another series, though. The yeah. series yeah. Exorcist is pretty good, yeah. It's, it's recent. Yep, probably like four years ago it started. I think they're on season three ish or four. It's pretty recent. It's pretty, but it's pretty, pretty recent. It's like yeah. I think we're on the third season. I think, I think it was canceled. Yeah. That's yeah, too bad. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to hit that a lot just, today. <laughs> well, yeah, most of all the shows are canceled. <laughs> but um, the, well, I mean, the X Files, I mean, I'm not going to go into X Files, I know we can get into it, but the X Files. Chris Carter was inspired by a lot of the older stuff. Some of the stuff we already talked about. Chris Carter, who created the X-Files, he, he was inspired by Twilight Zone. Uh, he's inspired by another show called The Night Stalker. Oh, yes! Which is an old show from the late 60s, early, uh, early 70s or whatever, where he's basically a... a uh, it's kind of like... Uh, he reminds me of a Columbo. Newsprint. He's a, Yeah, he's kind of <laughs> like a... Think of the Columbo series, if y'all can remember that. But um, He's kind of like a very, you know, uh, um, I can't remember, Darren McGavin is the name of the actor. Um, but he's kind of like a frumpy little guy. He's just a newspaper reporter. And he gets involved with all these, like, uh, 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 kind of like, you know, X-Files, like, you know, where they're going, you know, just... Re to uh, take down you know somebody you know some weird stuff or whatever going on and that was his that was his thing was mm -hmm. that he just wrote for a paper and that was he went into stuff and that was cool. one of his favorite believe it or not inspirations about X Files because it was that the thing. only episode of that I saw but it was a good was a, it was a it was a vampire one it was really cool oh, okay but it was just this old man who was the vampire but he's robbing blood banks okay and stuff and uh, and. That the main character cool. broke into his yeah. house and then found all that stuff and there was an yeah. altercation. But it, it was really creepy. The name of the show sounds like oh, Night Stalker, ooh, you know right. that kind of thing. But it was just it was just a frumpy guy. I guess that yeah. was maybe a play on that, you know, whatever. Right. Where you know the Night Stalker is this kind of frumpy little guy that <laughs> this looking guy. He was awake at night. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But it's called it was called oh, the official name was Kolchak the yeah. Night Stalker. That's right. right. That was his last name was Kolchak. Yeah, and, um, and that was was it, it wasn't very many seasons. It it, I think it only lasted one season or whatever. Yeah. It, but it inspired, like I said, inspired Chris Carter for that. Yeah, and, and thinking uh, about it, it's very similar in tone to yeah. X Files. So yeah. yeah, I mean, it had wasn't the X Files based on just uh, UFOs and stuff? Not just kind of. They, they had, did all kinds of stories. Of, yeah, if you yeah. watch the first season, especially, it's all over the place. Yeah, X Files yeah, is yeah, yeah based. On, it was based on the the whole the remaining plot of the of the story. Is a is a plot that goes through the whole show mm -hmm. of the, one of the characters being find, trying to find his sister who he thinks was uh, taken yeah. taken by aliens, and he's an ex he's an ex FBI agent and he found these group of files called the X Files that is basically what FBI puts away into this mm -hmm. in this room in the back of or in the basement or whatever type thing and they say unanswered strange yeah, happenings and then strange happenings yeah. you, you know and they just put them in the or if there is an answer no one needs to know this <laughs> right and he took he took over the x files to do that to to find the the you know to solve the mm -hmm. cases that were just thrown thrown in the basement or whatever type thing and that's what the and he gets joined by a, a girl I mean, a woman who is a doctor 
and the scientist. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of like... She's put in there to disprove him. Right. She's put in there by his his superiors to disprove him because they can't throw him out of the X-Files. They can't get rid of him because he can't... They don't want him to be a martyr or whatever type thing where people feel sorry for him being kicked out. But he has uh, has also... uh, uh, also, the reason why he stays in, he can stay in there because he he knows a lot of upper echelon senators or whatever type thing, and they they keep him in there or whatever. They are allowed to keep him, keep him in there, but uh, but the scientist also, is, but she becomes she starts out being like a shield for the the bad guys or whatever, but now uh, then she becomes just a partner of his. And because she saw enough weird stuff right. to realize. But she still was skeptic, though. She never, sure, sure. They, they never had her see the, exactly the stuff that happened. Like if he was, it was, it was, a, it was an episode about ghosts. He would see the ghost, but she would never see the ghost. No. Yeah. <laughs> never. Or she'd see it. There was just enough evidence to like yeah. not. Yeah. There's something strange, but not you know. But there's something. Mm. That, but she'd always. <laughs> but when they got further with the alien story, and then she yeah. got all caught up in it. Yeah, it I, was, it, yeah, well, yeah. We can, like I said, we can yeah. talk about that. Uh, have yeah. a whole episode about that. But <laughs> yeah. it's a. Uh, but it, it it was pretty good. The start, the first mm-hmm. three, four seasons, I think, were probably the, some of the best ones. Right. They, they and were. So, yeah. Um. But you know. But, but the whole series is it's worth watching. Everything yeah, for sure. Even the new ones, you know. To some extent, there were some movies too, but you know, it just yeah, yeah. I don't know, some stuff I don't believe should just be remade. Some stuff, if it's a classic, leave it alone. Right, it or remake to... it in a good way if you have to. But you know, I want more yeah. original content yeah. or original ish no. content. <laughs> right. Well, speaking of remake, uh, which is, this is a kind of a, it's not remake per se. It actually, it is remake. Bates Motel. Uh, it. It's yeah. a change. It's a the story. The, you know, it's taken from Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, yeah. basically, and it's not a remake. It's kind of a, more of a reboot because mm-hmm. it changes some of the it's a retelling. Yeah. They're retelling a little bit of the character of Norman Bates, who is the in Psycho. He's killed his mom. Uh, he, uh, he's killed his mom and became his mom. Basically, dresses up as his mom to kill people. Sorry to spoil that. If you that haven't seen very Psycho old by movie. now, I'm sorry. A, it was a movie from the 1960s. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, but uh, it, it's uh, but that's the whole concept of that movie. But this is basically his early days as young Norman, teenage Norman, in growing up with his mom. Which but is it, a phenomenal idea, by the yeah. way. Mm-hmm. Which they had just, they did just, it in a movie either in Psycho three or four. I can't remember which one, but there yeah, was, it was one. Four. That, it was four, four yeah, when they yeah. went back. When they went back to the right, yeah, well, but it was a whole. It was this is different from the, the show yeah. too. But um, but the, they did retell it, the story a little bit. The only thing I had a problem with. I mean, the show was pretty good. I had actually we're only seen like the first two seasons, maybe three seasons. It got better. Yeah, the it was one season I kind of dropped off a, and I can't remember now why I did that, but it, I dropped off because. I just didn't really like the way it was going, but the only problem I had was at least the first, the first episode or one of the first episodes where he goes to high school the next, you know, it was like the first day of school, whatever, and he's sitting at, on, uh, waiting for, and he looks like Norman Bates, where he's kind of very well put together. Yeah, kind of like yeah, has his you know shirt, you know, all buttoned up all the way, all to, the way the top, to the top, a very yeah. Norman Bates, <laughs> you know, yeah. whatever, uh, Pretty, like. Very, uh, Creepy, maybe, but just like but very, you know, nice, very plain harmless. looking, plain looking, not ominous type guy. He would hurt sit- a fly. So. Yeah, exactly. He's sitting at the bus stop or whatever, and is a bench like right there at the bus stop, and he's waiting there. And these girls come up, and they're, you know, they're girl, they're probably popular girls, you know, very, you know, lovely girls, you know, what all that And they come up to him, and they kind of start talking to him, and become friendly and all that stuff. I just don't think that would have happened if it <laughs> right. to, well, to a Norman Bates right. type character. Right? I understand what you're saying. I kind of like the but that's idea. Just, but that's, you know, that's just a small thing. There was a lot thing. of things, actually. Thing. I agree with you on that. There was uh-huh. a lot of things that they had his character do that I was like, that's not, that just feels so out of character to me from what I feel like the real Norman Bates would have done if he'd been from the back in the day. But I kind of liked it at the same time because it really twists around and it really is a shocker uh-huh. when they... They, it's like they, they confuse you, and they're like, oh, that's Norman. And then they're like, what? And then, oh, that's Norman. They do that a lot in this show, which yeah. I like, because it made you kind of care about him. 
you know, you felt like there was a yeah. innocence because he was a kid. He was a kid too, so he was innocent. Yeah. He had just he he kept going blacking out. So like his blackouts, that was you know he didn't have that whole multiple personality thing until like you know right. You know so like and you have to watch the rest of it to really understand why they have they had to bring in characters. They had to make him lovable. Yeah. yeah you know, I mean, for him I, to feel yeah. for people to be so disappointed that he became psycho. Right. You know because he was already psycho. But right. <laughs> I, I, but I, get I mean, it. But I mean, I get it though. I, I get it. I mean, like I said, the thing about it is too is, I mean, they did in Psycho, the movie Psycho, which again I'm going to the movie, but I, but I, for a second, but they made the Norman Bates character somewhat innocent and very like and somewhat likable to audiences because there's a scene with him and Jan Lee that are you know are sitting Jan Lee the actress who's uh talking to him. In because they're sharing a uh, some meat, uh, some a sandwich or something like that, uh, yeah. and there's a scene and they're just sitting there talking and you kind of have him just be very innocent, quietly, you know, nice, polite kind of a guy, you know, whatever. So you're kind of like getting into this person. Okay, he, he's innocent, he's a little quirky, but he's you know yeah. he's just you it's know, very subtle. It's it's very subtle to build up or whatever type yeah. to him. You don't think he's anything more than what this guy is. He's a little you know he's a nice guy. And so that's they kind of build that up in the movie too, you know that in that way with the hit her talking to she's very beautiful and blonde and everything like that and um, she's um, she, of course she gets killed. Sorry, just spoil that she gets killed by him and then later on. Um, but it was made uh, in the twenties, thirties, sixties, sixties. Oh, I'm way. It was nineteen sixty. I was, was you know it's funny in my head it was sixties. Sorry, but, but um, yeah, like they should know by now. But um, but. But you know, so I'm like, just uh, but you know, I'm just saying that you know, it's it's an interesting because it's a very quiet scene too. It's a very intimate love. scene with the between the two of them because it's you know, it's kind of like has to build his character up because if he's just gonna be you know, it's gonna be one no character if he's you know, if they don't know. What, you know, um, it's very self-explanatory that, and I and I really hate to give away anything, but I have to. Are you okay with this well, for the show portion? Okay. I mean, it's okay. I'm gonna, re- I'm gonna revisit. I'm gonna, re- I'm gonna, re- I'm gonna revisit it. But go ahead. Okay. So you know that he's gonna kill his mom. And oh. I mean, yeah, such a shocking movie. That's what happened. But I kind of had this feeling that he wasn't gonna kill her. That it wasn't well, gonna happen. It was like such a build up. Because they waited until like the last minute of the show, and and then when he did it, I was so upset. I was so mad. In fact, how they did it, I didn't tell you how they did yeah. it because it was very. Mute. It wasn't. It wasn't how he does it. You would think he would do it. It wasn't yeah. like he snapped. But it it was very emotional for me. I don't do, know why. Do they make the mom mean in the? No. Well. well so there's some. There's some. Yeah. Overprotective. Super definitely. Protective. Right. But she is. But she. The old. She gets more. She really lets go of that for a while there in the middle of the series because right. she lets Norman like do live his life as a kid. But because she realizes he's got problems, she finally stops being so you know, around his neck about everything right. because she realizes he's obsessed with her. Right. So she's trying to make him normal at this point because she feels like right. she did it. She did him wrong and she, yeah. you know, really made him kind of how he was. Yeah. But then it, she realizes at one point it wasn't her fault that he was just chemically, you know. Right. Chet, you're going to be interested to watch some of the, yeah. the sequels to the original yeah. Psycho. Like oh, Psycho. Yeah. yeah, have yeah. you seen the one that's the flashback to when it's... It's basically about that. It's him being young yeah. with his mom. That I think was, Psycho I mean, 4. That, that, one, I that one was yeah. a little creepy. A little bit. It was creepy, and she was <laughs> kind of straight up mean <laughs> and wrong. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the yeah. little shuffle after yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a like, good movie, but just like, like you feel kind of bad. They <laughs> didn't do that with Vera. Vera was the one that had played to his Take mom. a shower afterwards, right. you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a little, yeah. What I loved about her was that she was, I think it was really creepy when he started like looking at her and stuff. I was like, oh my God, don't hit your mom. I thought he was going to kiss her a couple times. Uh-huh. She was kind of on that verge too, though. So like, and that's yeah. what I hated. They never yeah. really got down to that. Well, that she was obsessed with her son too. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, sure. yeah. Uh, yeah. You finish it and tell me what you think. I think she was obsessed with him too. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna watch. But the thing about it too is that they did what they did in the series, which I know they had to do because they could only do. They couldn't do just around the hotel and just the, the relationship between the two of them, and that's it. That's the whole show. You could had to do more. You had to broaden out a little Make more. Make the world a little bigger. Yeah, right. Yeah. And so they did. They ended in the town nearby, and they developed into the town, and the town became more involved with the situation. It had more people, you know, kind of getting involved. You know, involved. So it was, which I don't even remember them in. They may have mentioned the town once or twice in Psycho, and that was about it. They didn't say anything about the nearby town or nearby this or whatever type thing. Um, 
but uh, they they uh, the, the, you know the, it became more of a had more people come in and be involved in the situation because the town became more involved. But um, I, I that was a difference so too. To that, show. Was that was great. a difference too to you know put it in there. But like I said, they had to do that to make it more like you said about build a world more around the exactly because you know, right. it would be just a very boring show if it was just around that hotel and at that would be a, kind of the house and the it's like I, I, at, I, at I, first I, I was having str- a struggle with it and then I, to, and then I got did. through after like the episode or two the first couple of episodes though were really uh, were kind of cringing a little bit to me anyway because I knew the story I knew yeah. this movies and that felt uh, the first couple it seemed like the first couple of episodes they tried to go that that route of the between the two of them, uh-huh. then they went. Okay, wait a minute. We're not. We're not doing. You know, we got to back up because we got. You want to watch it though? <laughs> because it, it it you had to back. They said, wait a minute. We got to back up from that story. Nobody's going to watch this television series for the long haul with this, this this relationship or whatever well, kind of thing. I really like that he had a brother. Yeah, and I liked how so that's that was a change up too. That was yeah. a change up too. He has a brother. Uh, a brother. Yeah, he had a brother. Brother was crazy too, though. Okay, yeah. so. She was crazy. She she yeah. she she hid his deaths that he did. She knew he was murdering people, mm-hmm. and she did nothing about it. She just let it happen, and she didn't get him help like she should. Have. So it's her fault that everything happened. It's her fault what happened to her. You know, I loved the last season. That last season. I haven't seen any of the so last season. Watching so. the whole season. I'm telling you, you guys, gotta watch that. It's um, it's all on Netflix. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah, that's why I want to revisit it because I've seen it on there. But cool. anyway, we'll we'll move on. To I always forget about that series, The Binge. It's yeah, um, heard good stuff. Yeah, um, we'll move on to something else. Uh, we can. Yeah. Um, um, let's see. Something else mm. that maybe y'all would like to. No, I just want to <laughs> say yeah. one thing about the Psycho movie was the end. What I didn't understand what it mean. Maybe I was too young. Of the of the movie? Yeah. Oh. The fly. What was the Oh, fly? that he was just talking about how like he's so harmless he, he didn't do it. He wouldn't hurt a fly. That's the like he wouldn't term. even That's kill a fly term. like That's this flying around the house. I remember, yeah. I remember I think he was sitting against the wall or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was like and the his, fly. He was well, he's his in, mom, he was talking to his mom. He was in the or asylum. Or yeah, oh, oh, or that, that no, that was a, he was, in the, police, he was yeah. in the police station. Police station, that's yeah. right, it that's right. Like he was and, uh, talking within his head. That's he was because he's putting on that persona that yeah. he would be. He that's, would never heard of. That's fly. what. That's mm-hmm. what and he's talking like his his mom's voice well, is coming through it? him or um, whatever type I thing. Think that made it him that way. Her, I guess so. In that original movie, yeah, original because movie. of how the mom was portrayed in that original 1960s thing. She was always yeah. shouting at him. She was always berating him. So you could easily say that the guy's mom made him crazy by being such a domineering, evil person in his life. Very significant, though. She, uh, she, didn't she kill somebody? I'm uh, trying to remember. Did she? In, the, in the original did movie, they didn't have yeah. her kill nobody. Okay. You know, it was yeah. just him doing it and using yeah. her as an excuse. He killed, he killed her, and he killed her lover at the time or whatever. That, that's another thing. Too, that in means. Psycho 4, yeah. Yeah. But didn't he? That's the, didn't he? That's but in the original, the, they didn't talk about that at all. Oh, okay. None of that. None of okay, that. Okay, I was trying to. No. I'm getting all this stuff. Mm-hmm. You, get, you watch the show and you watch those other movies and uh-huh. all that whole story gets all mixed up yep. in your head. The, it's the just original like, movie, they don't go okay, too I'm deep into it. They leave his past a mystery. Right. He does taxidermy. Okay. Does he do taxidermy yeah. as a kid in the. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he, 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 yeah, he gets mm-hmm. into it. Oh, um, the, the, when his dog dies in the season. Yeah. Mm hmm. You know, yeah, which yeah, was so yeah. creepy. All the yeah. movies are good. Two, three is great. When yeah. he, you, you're really pulling for him to fall in love with the nun and then to have a happy life, and then it's just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Who plays him in the fourth one again? Uh, Henry Thomas from uh, yeah. Elliot from yeah. ET, E.T. plays yeah. him as a kid in the fourth one. Yeah. Oh, Henry he Thomas. also plays in the show that we're going to be talking about as an older adult. Ah. Remember the show we're going to be talking about the, on Netflix that we are getting into? Yes, now? yes, yes. He's That's right. Dad. Isn't oh he, yeah. Okay. Is he not? I let's see. I'm a face person. I think, <laughs> I think I saw, maybe I looked so. it up on. I think it is. I think I'm right. How much is it? 2018. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Must be a It is. Right. That's the one we're talking about. Oh, I might be right. I might be wrong. Yeah. Let's see. You're wrong. Uh, Ed, Michael. Oh, Henry Thomas, young Hugh Crane, is the yeah he's in it. So I was right. 
He's in it. Yeah, I don't know. We, I think he play plays young, the more. the. Uh, plays the young dad. The dad, yeah. yeah the the dad. dad from the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know his, he's got a very um. He, he, he has a baby face. Yeah, so he, like when he gets yeah. older. He's older, I and mean, he's and, a, and he's uh, he's uh, he's callous he's, too. He's, like it's sort he's of gotta be. Uh, my yeah, age. your card's full. It's oh, so yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all on you, Jesse. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, I knew the egg wasn't gonna. Do you need another? I said, do you want another one? It's up to you. I can. Honestly, I'd rather sit here and talk. Okay, yeah. that works. That works. Yeah. I mean, he's he, oh, I mean, he and Thomas anyway. He's 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 probably just a little older than I am. Um, I'm 45, so he's got to be older than I am because I know I'm just a, a year or so older than Drew Barrymore, and they were both in that movie, and she was he was older than she was. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew Barrymore. Oh yeah, when she was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. So, so so he's got to be in this. Late forties, early fifties, at least. Yeah. Right. Really, because he's doing pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he looks young. He, but he looks young. Right? The guy that plays him in the older, the older version of him in the show that we're talking about, um, he looks just like him too. Like I thought it was him. I was like, makeup. I was like, no, I know that. Right. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, we're not on that show yet. But yeah. But, yeah. but man, I'm just there. Yeah, I'm just now, but, um, but yeah, the but the thing about it is, here's a little. I heard about. When he did that movie where he played uh, Norman Bates, that he had nothing to play off of, or he tried to, he tried to go to uh, Anthony Perkins to find out a little bit of Norman, how to play Norman or whatever, as a younger guy. This and is he was still alive. Yeah, and uh, uh, Anthony Perkins didn't want to have anything to do with him or to tell talk to him about it. I don't know. Maybe he wasn't happy with what doing. The thing about it is he was in the movie mm -hmm. only for a short time, but he was in the movie. It was just he wasn't in the scenes with Henry Thomas though, but I mean he was. He Are you talking about the guy that played the original one? Yeah, Anthony Perkins is the yeah. Yeah, Aaron Bates. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. went to uh, Henry Thomas went to him to see if he could get some advice about it in you know, playing right a younger Norman and, and he didn't want to deal with he didn't want to have anything to do he didn't give him any advice or nothing. How old do you think he was at this point? Henry uh, Thomas probably teens, late teens, right? He's or early twenties. Early twenties, probably maybe. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Anthony Perkins was, I don't know, he was like older. 50s? <laughs> yeah, it'd be 60s, something like that. It had to be. At this really? Because that movie's from the 90s, wasn't it? Or that... Psycho 4? Yeah, it wasn't in oh, the 90s. Oh, I thought we were talking about Psycho 1. Psycho oh, 4 no. is... Uh... Okay, show me a picture of the guy that plays... The one Psycho 4. But, um... Yeah, because I keep picturing that guy right there. It's the beginning. It's 1990. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 1990, yep. And, uh, and it, it was basically... Oh, that's Psycho. Yeah, Psycho 4. The, Psycho 4 was basically... What it was was a flashback. Show me a picture of him. Of Henry Thomas? Yes, please. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the guy that played Psycho... Um, the older version of him. Because wasn't there a guy that played an older... I know, mean, like, Anthony oh. Perkins was in it. Yeah, he was in the movie. You was, know, And you know what he... But like it flashed back to him being younger, it was, and it was Henry Thomas who played him. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, but he, he, you know, he tried to get some advice from him, you know, to see... Oh, and he didn't so have anything he to do with an older version of himself. So, okay, basically, it's like the fourth... It's morning. a flashback. It's a flashback. It started out that he gets... What it is, it starts out... I'm thinking if I remember correctly. There's a there's it's a call in radio show, and uh, they there's a uh, person uh, if, if they is it's talking about like murderers or whatever type thing on this show radio talk show or whatever they're talking about murderers or whatever, uh -huh. and uh, then they bring up Norman Bates. Norman Bates, played by Anthony Perkins, is hearing this radio show and he calls in to them. And he, but he's okay. He's not. Did he get out of he, the he got, asylum? He, yeah, he's not in the asylum. He's he's actually living with a woman. He's actually married to, a, or he's either married or living with a woman. I don't remember when I, which way. But he's he's got his life together and he's all good. He just he did, he calls because he's he's complaining to them because they're talking bad about him. I mean, they're saying how he was nuts and blah 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 and all this other stuff and you know how you know murderers do this and murderers do that and they did it and he's like calling them saying I'm not that way. And I'm good now. I know everything. And you're all you're 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 perpetuating the situation, you know, having people, you know, you're talking about people this way or whatever. And then he flashes back 
at some point in the radio programming, uh, during the talk, he flashes back to when he was younger, and that's when they go into Henry Thomas playing him and dealing with his mom or whatever. So a younger version of his mom. Oh, so he was only in a couple shots of it? Yeah, he's kind of like a, like, I think he's at the very end. It kind of, like, tails back to the end, back to when he's, you know, goes back. Why would you not want to help somebody your horror movie with it? Literally the same I don't think they, they were never any well, scenes, scenes together. Yeah, together. so yeah. they may not have been, they may not had much time to you know, even really do it. But but like I said, that's he scary. tried to reach out to him and try to you know, see if he could that's play. That's kind of scary though. Like he ended he up being not crazy at the end. Yeah, I mean he's. I'm trying to remember how it ends because it's been a while. How do you remember uh, Jesse? How Psycho Four ends? Yeah, yeah, it kind of tells back into. I don't remember. I don't remember why. at all. Yeah, it's it's a good movie though. I remember really liking it. I really it, 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 it's yeah. it's interesting how it you know, starts out. Yeah, surprisingly, all the Psycho movies are pretty good. They're not bad. And yeah, a lot of people don't want to touch them because they Psycho is the first one is so Hitchcock, envy, you know, you know? Hitchcock yeah. and it was like you know it's yeah. so yeah. it's on mm. here, up here and everything else should be down here type thing. But the story and the character were always serviced yeah. very well. It, uh, all yeah. of them are, are actually pretty good. Um, so, but, and the, you know, it's written, they're written very, all very well. Oh, yeah. Is that the played the original Psycho, the original Norman Bates alive still? No, he died. He's, he died in the late 80s, early 90s? Yeah, he, he died not too long after that movie. Right, the, in the, the, the 90s. After, yeah, after, that's after right, four, he's a lot older. Yeah, yeah. He's, he, he died of AIDS, because he's, he's gay, mm-hmm. he was gay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, uh, and, um, yeah. He, uh, but, um, he had a huge Hollywood career, too. Yeah, he was a, there was a good movie called, um, a little bit off base here, but uh, Orson Welles' movie called The Trial. I don't know if any of you ever heard of that. Mm-hmm. Really good, based on a uh, uh, on a novel. And uh, it's just one of those things. He was uh, convicted of a crime he didn't do, and he ended up, the system ended up killing him at the end. That's the worst. I hate to do that. Yeah. So sad. Like, and that's all what it was about. And at the end, he had to, it didn't matter. Even the people carrying out the, the orders. That knew that they That what didn't matter. They just had to do that, you know. So that was just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was also in a movie, which is more sci-fi, but it's kind of got a horror aspect to it. Um, the Black Hole. It's a very early 80s oh, yeah. sci-fi yes. movie. It was Disney's wanted to be in sci-fi it's very early at disney wanted to be as make a sci-fi movie because the star wars had been all blown up and all that stuff. i'm surprised they haven't remade it <laughs> yeah it's it's not that good of, i mean it's a very weird movie and it's great effects for the time it's got effects good effects at the time but it's really weird yeah and it, it takes place on a ship which is at the verge of a black hole and a, a, like a smaller ship winds up finding it and it's this huge ship and that is a mad doctor on on the ship that is in charge of everything now because all the crew has died or whatever type thing and he all he has is these robots to serve him or whatever type thing and they have a uh and the concept is that well i won't give everything away but anyway that's the concept and the people find him, and he's one of the people. It was a, the group, a little group of scientists or whatever type of thing, or scientists, and he's one of the scientists. Uh, Alex, Anthony, not Alex, Anthony Perkins is one of the guys who signs him. Ernest Borgnine's in it. Um, I can't think of the other actors in that. But anyway, uh, it's not a big actor. You all probably wouldn't know if I ever said it in their, their names. But um, anyway, uh, that's the only two ones that are probably the biggest ones. But um, but yeah, that's, I mean, it's not a bad movie, it's just an odd movie, it very, ends very odd, it's got, a, it's a horror aspect too, to it, you know, horror, sci-fi type thing to it, yeah. um, because he has this big, it's, it's, a, it's a cool looking robot, uh, the big attack robot, yeah, the Maximilian, one? yeah, Maximilian, it's yeah. a Maximilian, and the robot is designed very cool, it's very yeah. red, and it's very, it, it doesn't, you know, they don't, they have some robots that say stuff on there, you know, that, that can talk, English and there's ones that are just you know, don't talk at all, uh-huh. and Maximilian is one of those, and he's really this huge red robot or whatever type thing. It's pretty cool looking. It's called um, the black hole. It's called the black hole, yeah. Okay. But um, but it's yeah, it's, it's got cool. a horror aspect to it too. So that's why I brought it up. That's why I brought it up too. Yeah. Early eighties, early eighties. Like I said, it was, 
it was Disney's foray into sci-fi trying to be Star Wars. Um, I would say it was the 79, okay. Uh, that was, uh, that's the poster for it. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's that's Maximilian. That robot right there. That's a pretty cool looking robot. It's a pretty cool, mm -hmm. you know. He's got these little little things come out, like he floats. Uh, yeah, he floats, and he yeah, this, these like things come out, and he's uh, they like swirl around, and they kill, and he can kill people with them. And it's like these, what do you call them? Um, blades, basically, yeah. and they start flipping around, and he kills people with them. It's pretty cool. Vincent, uh, that's one of the robot little robots. That little robot right there. That's yeah. Vincent. They're he, sort he of can, the friendly ones. Yeah, he, he's a friendly robot. He can he can he can speak to uh, Roddy McDowell. If you don't want to know the actor, right? He does a voice of him. Um, yeah, there's the he, one that's together, and then there's the one that's messed yeah, up. Bob. Yeah, Bob. Uh, and um, I mean, like I said, it's there for Ray into somewhat sci-fi, trying to get into sci-fi stuff. That's the mad scientist, the guy right there in the red. He's the mad scientist that's mm -hmm. on the ship. And that's the ship right there. That's the name of the ship. That's the ship that's in the black hole. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty. You know, like I said, it's not a it's it's a different movie. <laughs> yeah, I like these movies better. Um, but yeah, that, there's a toy. Yeah, they had the toys movie. out of them too. They had toys, oh, yeah, they had I action figures. That, yeah. They had the action figures of them. Um, they had the action figures of That's all the course. characters, and um, it was like I said, it was just trying to do Star Wars basically. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it didn't, they, it didn't do well. Wasn't a it didn't did do well. It didn't do like well <laughs> theater wise. Yeah, but it's not, it's got some good parts to it. Yeah. I'd watch it with Battle Beyond the Stars or something like that. I have not seen that movie, so I couldn't say one way or another. Uh, I, know the, I know the movie you're talking about, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, Roger Corman. <laughs> um, but anyway, but we'll Let's get see. back to. <laughs> we're right. talking about movie now. So Again, what else? I'm sorry. Got, yeah, yeah. Jumping I'm back sorry. to horror shows, um, uh, some recent ones like we when we went down the list. Let's see. There's uh, of course old ones, Outer Limits, Night Gallery. Uh, the Walking Dead, I mean, I consider that horror, you know. Um, it's zombies and, and all of that. And who would have thought that that would have, I mean, maybe it doesn't seem crazy to y'all, but uh, it seems kind of crazy to me that that movie is like, I mean, that show was a number one hit in America. I think it's kind of died down now considerably, oh, yeah. but for a while it was the hardest thing, the hottest thing since sliced bread, you know. Mm. And uh, I just fell off of it. Like, yeah, me too. They've been talking about it. It's very <laughs> bored. Yeah. <laughs> I got so bored. Now, I did get interested when people that were important from the beginning started dying. That's why I cared. I was like, oh, yay, someone's dying. <laughs> Somebody's dying that I didn't want to die if I actually had kept watching the show. <laughs> but I get why people liked it. I just, I love zombies, but I just got, it just became the same thing to me. And mm -hmm. I kind of got into other shows at the time, which really took my attention, like Teen Wolf. Right. Which I was a, I was a teenager when, um, uh, I was 16 when The Walking Dead came out. So, you know, of course my mind was everywhere else. So I didn't really stick with it. And then when I got older, I was just uh, too late at that point. Talking about Teen Wolf, you know the past history of all that like uh, oh, yeah, the, my dad's favorite movie well even before that my dad's favorite movie when he was, when he was younger was I was a teenage werewolf oh, you ever I heard of that have, movie I have heard of it's it it's all based that's the same thing based it's on based that Scott yeah mm -hmm. Scott McCall and his friend um, Styles. Mm -hmm. yeah they really kind of kept with it and they, they I really liked Teen Wolf it wasn't that it was horror it was creepy it had monsters in it which is what this was makes it horror right but um you know my man crushes in it so I had to keep watching it you know but yeah <laughs> Buffy, totally forgot about Buffy when we were I making our Buffy list. Really, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. That's totally horror series. Yeah. Ooh, Buffy, the sequel, was it the prequel or the sequel to Buffy was Angel? It was that, kind of like they were in it was, uh, it was after, so it was but after. they kind of were, uh, they overlapped. Okay, they did? They overlapped a bit. Yeah, I wasn't a big, yeah. I wasn't watching them like a mass, but I knew enough that they were on at the same time. Right. There. Yeah. Yeah. I liked Angel better than Buffy, but I love Buffy too. Yeah, Angel was real popular. Yeah, it was. Um, takes him around time, charmed and stuff like that. But yeah, mm -hmm. but, yeah. yeah. I've uh, I, if you go onto my uh, YouTube channel, you'll find a Q and A of uh, Spike and then Xander. Those two characters. Uh, it's like probably an hour and a half or what whatever. Is what is he saying? Xander is the. Uh, he was sort of the the goofy friend of the vampire killers. He had no special abilities himself, but he was just that. Yeah. He's the guy now who's always running into trouble and having yeah. anyway we don't need to talk about that but uh 
but and Spike was the vampire. He was the sort of uh, vampire villain for a while, but then sometimes friend of yeah, Angel Spike. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah Spike. Yeah, yeah. I so mean, was, why am I and then Spike Buffy? and Buffy kind of got in a relationship for a little bit and stuff like, like that. You know, yeah. it's teenage soap opera with vampires. It was, <laughs> it was like your first True Blood. Mm -hmm. You know, it, yeah, it's very True Bloody, but not being mm -hmm. as bloody as True Blood was or showing it. stuff. Yeah, I, I heard it was really popular, but I just couldn't get into it. True Blood, why, like, was came on before that. Right, I did one season of True Blood. It was okay. Friends liked it, so I watched it. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Ooh. Just I couldn't get into it. But you know, we all have to talk about the old, you know, like it's the holy grail for me. Is like, what's that the term for it? The holy grail of um, like TV shows being horror is like American Horror Story. Ah, uh, okay. You know, okay. Well, well tell yeah. us why this is the holy grail. To me, it's like he hits everything that scares somebody, like the clowns. The I mean, the witches weren't scary, but they were great. I really liked the characters in it, so it was good. But I love the witchcrafting too. Um, I don't know, like, and it wasn't even that it just was scary. It was just like great story. The first one, Murder House, was so bizarre. It was bizarre. There you go. Bizarre. Is better yeah, word. it was just, and it more than the others was bizarre. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah it was pretty like, damn where bizarre. Did but you get this shit from? yeah, <laughs> it was just like I don't know what's gonna happen next. Yeah, <laughs> like um, my favorite was Asylum. Because I really like the, the aliens. My too. And I, I hate it when you're in a situation, you watch a character in a situation that you know they're not, be, they're not supposed to be in that situation, and you can't help them. Right. And you're like, you see them struggling because they didn't commit that murder, they didn't do that, and then you just watch them. Like, if you saw Asylum, right? Yeah. How Jessica Lang was the half of the whole thing, which you hated her at first because she was right. a Right, but then you learn more. Yeah. You learn about her. Mm -hmm. And you kind of feel for her. And then she becomes, like, better, mm -hmm. even though she still sucks. <laughs> it's like you feel bad for her in that situation. Right. I just love how he puts us in situations like in Freak Show, you know, you feel bad for the twins. You feel bad for Twisty. I did And then he's like, oh, God. <laughs> Twisty, I didn't have, I didn't have an emotional connection with him. I don't right. know what it was. I hated the character that uh, was in that one, though, the main guy that killed everybody at the end right he hated him he was great though right like he was twisted oh yeah yeah and he's like you know such a baby which was a great idea yeah you know i mean he just the, the whole american horror story um i guess you know like series is just obviously it's everybody loves it you know most all people love it and you know it just keeps getting better and better to me mm -hmm. although yeah. i didn't watch the vampire one that like i should have with lady gaga i didn't really uh, oh a hotel yeah, I didn't finish I, it. I liked Hotel, actually. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. That, yeah, or I heard a lot of bad stuff about it. I'm like, well, shoot, I'll watch it. I guess there was so and much I, different stuff going on. Yeah, it was, it was a bizarre one, but I, I did. I watched it all the way through, you yeah. know. Did you watch it, all the series? No. Uh, after Hotel, I kind of... You didn't watch Cold? I, I, I might have seen parts of that and then parts of Roanoke. Oh, Roanoke. Yeah, Roanoke was after that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roanoke. I took me a year to watch that. I just never watched it. Yeah, and it's, you know, ghost story. Uh, you know, ghost hunting. The, the storyline didn't get me, and then the one. Um, I guess we're watching. We're tried to trying to watch the cult one, and it's not biting yet so I far. Get it. I get it. It gets yeah. like you just like you get to a point where like I'm done with this, and it's thing. too much with the politics. I. I Real, I pol real world politics is too scary as it is, and, and uh, <laughs> enough about that. It. But you know, it was just like, okay, yeah, I, I got, I got us. I'm trying to escape here. <laughs> you know what? The Roanoke. I gotta say this: if you, you did, you did, you didn't finish it. I didn't really even okay. start it. I, just I hated it bit. at yeah. first, mm -hmm. but when you watch the end, you appreciate it because it's like, oh, I love the twist. I okay, love the twist. I'll check it out. It's there. I yeah, can watch it. I mean, mm -hmm. I know you're probably gonna like maybe say that, and then you maybe a year from now you watch it finally. I might like it. Okay, I still I, need to watch your movies first that you want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take a year to watch it because I'm gonna watch them. Again. No, no, <laughs> I, I need to. The next few weeks, I promise. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> come off of that uh, to American Horror Story, I, I'll go with the, the one of the main women who are in almost a lot of the horror sto uh, American Horror Stories seasons is, I can't remember her name, like me. Um, Jessica Lange? Uh, Jessica Lange, uh, the younger girl who's in the oh, um, yeah. brown she's hair. Is in real life? Yeah. yeah. Brown hair, and I can't remember her life, uh, what her name is, but I hate to do that, but I should have looked it up before I started, but um, 
but she was in a horror movie, or not horror, a horror show in the early early to mid nineties called American Gothic. Now there was a recently a, a show called American Gothic, but it has nothing to do with this this show. Uh, this was on CBS, believe it or not. It was on CBS. It was a horror show on CBS. 95? Um, yeah. 95, yeah. Uh, Gary Cole. Lucas Black. Paige Turk. Lucas Black. Turco. Right. Brenda Back. Bake. Sarah Paulson. Sarah Paulson. Sarah Paulson. Paulson. Sarah, Paulson. Sarah, Paulson. Sarah Paulson. That's her. Oh, yeah. She's an American horror show. She, That's right. she was in the, the show, but she played a, uh, well, she actually... The concept of the show was that the bat, it was a small town, it takes place in a small town. Uh, there's a bad sheriff in the small town. His name was, uh, uh, was played by Gary Cole. He actually was the, the guy who played the father uh, on Brother the Brady Bunch, the movie. Um, and uh, he, which is very, very jarring to see that and then you know see him on the screen with the, playing Mike Brady. But anyway, um, uh, he was very evil. You didn't know if he was, it was more of a sci- sci- supernatural type thing going on if he was just you know evil um uh he kind of ruled with a tire you know he, he could be nice and with people who, who obeyed the law and did go went by their through but if you try to do something that he didn't like he would he would you know you'd get in trouble let's just say that and uh but the thing about it, is it starts out the first episode which blew my mind you gotta remember, this was 1995. Walking Dead is not even an option. Nothing. All these horror movies shows are not even like even out there. He comes in. Sarah Paulson's character is like in this kind of like uh, a catatonic state to a point, and, but she's saying all this stuff. It's taking place in the past or whatever type of. And he comes in. Uh, she's t- uh, she's uh, laying in this bed. And she starts talking about he he murdered her he killed her he killed uh he killed her you know Sheriff Buck which he has his name he comes in because uh, he's been called to this house he come, again you don't know the whole story behind this stuff yet it's still early this is the very first scene of the show he comes in she's like in this catatonic state laying in this bed he comes in and snaps her neck oh man she and you're been. like. Lord, okay, this is not a movie. This is television. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, this is you know you in Florida. I'm like, what? <laughs> I just I just saw that, um, and uh, he he just like just takes her and just snaps her neck or whatever, and she knows that he was behind. He killed her mom. Okay. And that he was. She's basically saying that she was going nuts or being in some sort of state where she was saying what happened. So she wasn't a main character in that. She, she she starts being a main character because she comes comes back in a ghostly form. Oh. And so and her 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 brother, her little brother is the main protagonist in that she comes back and talks to him and tells him stuff. And uh Lucas Black plays the little boy. He's he's actually in uh NCI NC NCIS New Orleans now and he plays a detective on there. But anyway, the and he plays in that movie I told you about, but that football movie that I couldn't remember the name oh, of. Oh yeah, with what's um, face? Yeah, um, <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> but uh, oh, yeah. If, yeah, Billy. And uh, so yeah, uh, but anyway, he 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 played the he's a little boy and he played him and Lucas uh, Sheriff Buck would kind of keep an eye on him or whatever type of thing. And there was this doctor who just was new to town and he kind of played the a good guy to or a good guy to. And helped out the little kid when he needed it, but it was just a. It was a very. It was a horror type show because there was a lot of bad stuff that happened in it. But uh, she was in it. She was uh, like, she wasn't in it. Like she died at the beginning, and then like she came back like maybe a few episodes mm-hmm. into it because they. I think they didn't know what to do. <laughs> or, you know, didn't know what. To, but she became as a spirit, came back as a spirit, and she was. Uh, like, try to keep an eye on, you know, hit, hit, hit her little brother because his, uh, he was the only one that their parents were dead. And so he kind of was adopted by the town. He never was adopted by anybody, <laughs> anybody, but he was kind of adopted by the town or whatever type thing. And they looked after him or whatever type thing. But um, 
there was more to the story. They never explained it all because it was only one season. Oh, that sucks. And uh, so they never explained it all. What ha- What you know? What was this deal? Because there was always speculation that Sheriff Buck was their father. Yeah. And because uh, he he raped their mom too, he killed her and raped their mom too. So there was always speculation that he could have been their father. What was her father when she raped? She was probably. I looked it up, tried to find out what she, she was probably early to mid twenties. Okay. In there. She's in her late forties, early forties. Yeah. But she mm-hmm. she looks still looks young. I mean, she's mm-hmm. like that type of actress that just still looks. She's a baby. Not much. Yeah. Not you know not that old. But uh, anyway, um, but that's. That's where I, that's the first time I ever saw her as an actress. When it was in that show, and I saw her in American Horror Story. Wow, I hadn't seen her in a while. Well, she's been in other things too, I'm sure. But the, that's the kind of like the first time I saw her again was American Horror Story, the second season. I didn't see the first season, but um, anyway, um, but that's where I, the American Gothic was a good show. I liked it. It's on DVD. Um, you can find it. It's very hard to find, but. Found it at some point, but uh, anyway, uh, you can kind of take like the shows we've been talking about and divide them up all into subgenres. Like, there's some that are just about ghosts. There's some that are more about like your monster movie monsters, mm-hmm. like werewolves and vampires, zombies, zombies <laughs> to some extent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you have like humorous horror, kind of quote unquote safe horror, like Goosebumps, Scooby Doo, of mm-hmm. course. Um, Things like that. Then you've got uh, serial killer horror. We we we've talked a little bit about um, uh, Bates Bates Hotel, but then there's also um, uh, oh, what's the the series is off now, but it was it was the guy's name and Hannibal. Bas- well, Hannibal's another one, yeah. Right. But it was uh, I can't believe I'm skipping on this, but it's a. Uh, this guy that looks like Matt Damon is the main guy in it, and it's about him killing people. Uh, Dexter. Oh, yeah, uh, I just like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, weird. but he's, I mean, he's a killer. <laughs> it was like comedy, too. Uh, it was, yeah, 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 yeah. His mom actually worked at the last place I worked at. No way. It's kind of funny. I never got to see Dexter, but you'd always hear when he was on campus visiting his mom. <laughs> weird. Yeah, or the actor. I feel bad just calling him Dexter. But, it's interesting. Know. Yeah. Um, shoot. What, uh, got, Nate, what are some series that you've watched, like horror-related you know, over the years, what was it? Well, we got Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone and uh, Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt. That's All right. The, two, uh, the main ones. I watched coming up. Right. Yeah. Tales from the Crypt's interesting. It came. It sort of takes on that. It reminds. There were a lot of comic books that had like some kind of crypt keepery kind of character at the beginning, and then you'd get short tales all the way through. Then uh, it, it's based on a uh, based comic, on comic, book. comic books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Chris Jones script is based on a comic book. I know that. Right, and there were several that were kind of clones of that, you know, yeah. as yeah. well as you know the series itself and stuff. Like the first Tales from the Crypt stuff uh, was the show on before the first movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Tales from the Crypt was on as a TV series. I didn't get to really watch a lot of that, but I do remember the puppet of the Crypt Keeper mm-hmm. wigging out at the beginning. Mm-hmm. I liked that, you know. And then the first movie, uh, uh, Demon Knight, was yeah. kind of fun. <laughs> the one with uh, Corey, yeah, Corey, Corey Feldman? Uh, that's Border of Blood. Oh, that's Border, cool. yeah, yeah. 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 I, I didn't see that. I really like that one. I just know this. Believe it or not, I haven't seen any of this stuff out, but I just know the whole, you know, kind of underlining of it. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. I want to see something. I know but they, they actually had an animated series of Tales of the Crypt, also. I'm not sure if y'all knew that. I do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Saturday morning animated show. <laughs> Have y'all heard of a creep show? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of similar, very it similar. Was, it was like, mm-hmm. yeah, and it, it starts cool. off with a comic booky mm-hmm. kind of yeah. um, I thought that was bookends. Yeah, uh, the script is with the guy with like yeah. white hair, and then Creep Show is the same thing. Mm-hmm. 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 It was a rip-off. You have a cartoon <laughs> rip-off <laughs> version on the comic book pages, but it's yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Creep Show is not based on a comic book at all, but Tell the Rip is. Was Creepshow, Creepshow in the Romero one, was it? Creepshow was uh, Wait, Stephen King. Yeah. And, it had different uh, writers because it had yeah, different yeah, anthology. Yeah. Had, yeah. It had, it had, but it's pro- I think King was a producer, overall producer. Yeah, on he, might, he might have been. And he directed that one. He did, did direct one of them or whatever, I think. Yeah. Uh, one of the stories, I guess. And he also acted in it, too. Oh, I, I don't remember. 
Yeah. I, 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 again, I haven't seen any of the yeah, stuff. Yeah, I just yeah, knew yeah. the underlying stuff. It's good, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's, I just... If you're talking I'm, Creep I'm, Show, like one of my I favorites, I think it's Creep this. Show 2, has a... Uh, there's one about these people stuck on a raft. Yeah. And there's a yeah, blob yeah, in yeah, the yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, That's a great yeah, one, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that was good. Yeah. It's coming up for them. I don't know. I wonder what kind of special effect did they have for that. Look they like, had a lot of materials that like were. Like black trash bag, but then when it gets yeah. close under, it's, it's like, like the slime. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'll tell you what's terrifying in this show. Let me show you that. I'll tell you what's terrifying in this show. It's because I was going for a joke, and I, I, I was like. <laughs> Last, yeah, that's basically just what happened. I, me and my girlfriend were watching Naked and Afraid last night. That was terrifying. Being naked in the woods for 21 days. I just had to put that out there. That actually is terrifying. And it, it is a joke I was just trying to make that I totally failed at, which probably wasn't even funny in the get-go. But I have to say, like, I like shows that are also, that are, like, not reality-wise, but, like, kind of, like, Nip Tuck, for instance, there's a better, oh, yeah, a, a better yeah. um, example is Nip Tuck. It was very creepy because you've got a lot of things going on. These people are getting, a, you know, surgeries sure. and stuff done like that, you know, cosmetically, and mm-hmm. things are going wrong sometimes while yeah. it happens. Not the whole show, because that's not much about. It's about the guys in it that do the surgeries, mm-hmm. which have you ever seen Nip Tuck? I know it, yeah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's like, and it's gory, because mm-hmm. it's yeah. obviously it's about surgery, so yeah. it's going to be gory. Um, but I, these are like real life situations that could be taken as kind of like horrifying, which I think that we all take that in consideration that scary movies, they're meant to be scary, but some things are just like actually scary, yeah. you know, if you think about it, which, right. you know, I'm not saying like I'm talking about the film that actually happened outside of the film, in real life. Exactly, yeah. which, um, which is why I brought up Nip Tuck and, you know. Morticians uh, are sort of similar in that kind of way, yeah. you know. Yeah, so, um, because there was something else that we had kind of touched base on a show wise that was in the horror category, but it was more so like Nip Tuck, where it wasn't really horror, but it was, you could kind of feel like it was terrifying. I don't know which one we were talking about. We had through a whole bunch of Bewitched? Stuff. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I just had the movie was stuff was horrible. I don't see how anybody could do that job, be a mortician. You that's, know? That's, a dirty that's job. funny to say. I got a friend that's, who's, a, She's like, man, I wish, uh, mm-hmm. and you know, certain mindsets can handle it, that's, that's and she can handle it. If you're not really grossed out by surgery I, in and of itself, not, you know. Forget that. It's the, the pack, there's a dead body right there. It's, it's, not, it's not even that. It's just that, you know, I don't know. It's not the same like looking at a, a dead animal. You're looking at a species that's animal. like yourself. I don't know. What's then, going on? You got to fix the person. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, mentally too much for me. Uh, I have seen a, a lot of autopsy before. Interesting. Not because I'm a creepy like that, or I've done it myself, I but did it myself. But, it, My it, but it, I was at the. Huh? <laughs> My dad took gross anatomy. Interesting. I uh, I went to the medical examiner's office in North Carolina, Penn State medical examiner's office, and did <coughs> a lot of autopsy. I was in criminal justice classes. Okay. And uh, so they they let us into it. I was in criminal investigations class. Um, and this was in college, uh, so uh, it's it's a different thing. Yeah, it is. In this case, it was not a care uh, or like a, nah, it's a character. Wow, a character. It wasn't a person who who died of maybe burns or some sort of thing where he was he looked he was dead for yeah or he was dead for a yeah, while. Made it smell. You know, he wasn't like dead for. He wasn't decomposing. He'd be decomposing no. or anything like that. So it was just somebody they had found in a yard, somebody's yard. It was a bum who would just mm-hmm. found dead. And they, and when he did, John Doe. Yeah, John Doe, basically. And when they have John Doe, they, they have to take it to the medical zone offices and have an autopsy of them. Normally, it's 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 up to the family if they want an autopsy of their, if, they, if somebody's passed. Uh, but he didn't have a family because he didn't have because he couldn't so have a family. So they made a decision to do that, and uh, so uh, they, he died. Basically, wound up being his dad of uh, alcoholism or whatever type of thing. But um, bad liver and everything. Uh, but he basically it was straight up autopsy. Mm-hmm. So you watched that? Spent, yes, watched that whole thing. I was standing basically. Did you from, smell anything? Huh? Did you smell from out of hide? It really type smell. So if you, you ever kill a 
dissect an animal in yeah. biology class no. and they had that school. Yeah. 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 They made us do all you kinds of stuff. You just the shark, the pig, like the a, worm, the clam. I didn't do that. Yeah. But I did frog. <laughs> Frog. frog, the frog too. I the frog. People, I can't eat the worm. And watch stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, you won't watch. You will not see me eat and watch a scary movie. I, I can't. Know. We can't do that either. Me and my wife is like, we love horror, but it's I like, if we're eating dinner, it's like, no, we're gonna, yes. we're gonna watch Seinfeld. You know. Yeah, I'm the same way. <laughs> you, 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 yeah. just, you can smell the alcohol once they open the body up. You can smell alcohol from the place. And um, that's insane. Do they treat the bot, the human bodies, like the stuff we get in in science class? That stuff's treated. Yeah. And then we get it. I wonder, do they treat it with fluids first and run stuff through that, it? Then that, you get I'm it sure. not? That, yeah. that I'm not sure. I, I'm not going to say one right. way or another about yeah. that because I don't know. But Probably it, not. Yeah. Probably um, maybe an anatomy class. But they were just that. like, they yeah. cut him straight from wow. up here, down. And you saw everything in there. You saw so, all the organs. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I don't mean this to be morbid or anything like that, but it, it was very fascinating. I, sure. I looked at it as a very scientific way. Yeah. Very fascinating looking at the human exactly. body in that way. It is. It's not a, you know, it's not in a book. It's not in a, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's actually alive right there. You're seeing the human body it's and um, and how the everything's the organs just, and everything I mean, like that. I've been at funerals. I've seen my grandma. I see, saw my dad right after he died. Saw my grandparents after they died. But, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's but, a weird feeling just to see a dead body. Yeah, for real. Open. But, but, yeah, you know. But it's yeah. very fast, and he they opened. They cut out, open his skull and or opened up his open. and took out his brain and you know that what kind do they, of thing. Do they put it back. They they no they take out every organ. Yeah, they they, they, they put out they pulled out every organ. They, just they it had back him up. yeah and they cut, had him empty in about like 15, 20 minutes or whatever took ever took ever everything out. Yeah, and um, out. now in the, the case of you know some other people. They may examine organs more than others, you know, type thing. Depending on cause of death. Right. That kind of thing where it supposedly right. causes, it. I mean, like I said, this was kind of a standard, you know, mm. if you can say a standard. Sure. <laughs> but I mean, you know, just like a, you know, something they you know, kind of, you know, so it wasn't like an investigate, major investigation going on or anything mm. like that. Um, and like I said, the, like I said, he died of alcohol somewhat alcohol and alcohol and and just natural neglect. causes, yeah. if you will, type thing. But so it wasn't like a... Uh, like he, uh, a, uh, you know, a bullet or anything like that. But um, uh, but he, you know, like I said, they, it is weird because they just pull down the skin from his up there, and it, you know, it, it just pulled down like that, and that's when they cut into the yeah. skull, Oof. and they pulled out the brain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, the, yeah. I would love to sit it's, there and watch that. I would probably never like watch it again. That's when I could like lose all my weight and be happy. I, in my life. I, <laughs> I took it. Let's do I it. Took it as like, no. I took Even it your as, favorite food is like no. It's Ew, it's a I, took, pizza. I took it as a scientific <laughs> way of looking at it. I, the, I thought in my mind, this is not a human body. This is just me, you know, seeing a scientific thing right. happening. Sure. And at that point, yes. Yes. Because it, 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 it is it, a human it, body. Thing it was. Yeah. And so yes. I'm just, I'm just. That's why I kept my mind from anything else than saying, "Ooh, that's, that's a gross." You know, See, that kind of okay, thing. like I would love to. Have you ever heard of the place that South Point that does it, where they have the bodies that are on display? They've got even like babies. Oh, and it's like a museum. I don't know if it's. Oh, they, it, they do the slices, and then you have they have in glass, and you can kind of. Pay, turn pages of glass to see all the different sections of the body? I don't know. I've never been, so if that um, is what we're, I'm talking about, right. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there's different, like, there's, like, brains and there's kids, eyeballs, you know what I mean? It's like, it comes to more well, The stuff. craziest was a whole horse, and it had a rider on it. A what? A horse with a rider. It was a real horse? Yeah, and they were, like, I mean, they were dead, but they were set up in this display where they were, yeah, it's really cool. This uh, They did it in Germany and it's a whole museum and stuff oh, and it's all I, these different I things. Know, I think you I know the one you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I, I don't I've never been never seen it but I've heard about I just saw it on TV. Yeah, yeah I saw or something it. Yeah, like that. A special I, like if like, I've already I'm going to donate it. Like I don't I when I die I'm donating whatever. Yeah. So like I would love I know like I don't Maybe I feel different the older I get it, but if, depending on how I die, of course, which I hope is not horrible. Just on my sleep, please. Yes, I don't want to die horribly, but I would totally like donate my whole body and they could put it in a glass jar. Unless I found out some time before then that I really do believe in certain things. And I knew that if I were to <laughs> right. go to this place, I'm going to go there or do this. Right. 
you know, I'm kind of up in the air right now with my belief, but right. that's nothing to do with it. I would kind of consider, I know that I would donate my, like, organs and stuff for people that needed it, no matter what I believed in. Yeah. I'd probably be, like, turned to ash or something. I'm fine with that, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, you know, once I'm dead, I'm dead, so I won't know, so you do whatever you want. Yeah, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then it's like, no, wait, no, don't do that. And it's too late. You're already there's a spirit. No, no. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> the yeah. funny part of that autopsy was there's two cops that came in, and they were just wanting to know what was up with the whole, you know, the it was a detective and a uniform cop came in, and they were kind of like, you know, we we're, were cops, you know, whatever type thing, and they, they came in. It's funny to see their reaction when they kind of walked into the, into the room because they didn't expect the whole body to be out there for display. Right. <laughs> and so, and they were their reaction to it was like, the the the, the type of copy says, oh, uh, yeah, what what do we have today?" And the the, the you know the corner or yeah the guy you know the um, magazine member said, "Oh uh, yeah, he died of you know." I call it was and basically he says, Okay, yeah, thank you. And and like he was really missed he barely even able to get yeah, the boards yeah. out. And then the guy uh, the uniform guy was like turned it completely around. He was like <laughs> No shame. Yeah, he was turned completely around from that thing and he was just like, oh. yeah, <laughs> like, I, mean, maybe like a, I mean, I guess you shouldn't walk in, in a morgue. No. You should just walk in somewhere. But, I I wonder but, if you could see it's like when you did that, did you have like were you in school? I was in school. Oh. It was like for a class. Like I said, criminal investigations was a class. Uh, our teacher, this guy, basically was able to do it. I mean, I don't know how he did it. I don't know, you know what you right. need to do to do it. But My it, dad we, took, we, took gross anatomy in, in, in college. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, all the students get their own body to cut up just like that. No, and um, my after a while, they got used to it. Like the students, you know, you're there. You're there for a while. You eat your lunch in there. Who cares? You got the guy, you know, they'd have their sandwich right there in a tray next to the body. <laughs> Seriously. And what was funny, though, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. No. Um, my dad described these people uh, that came in. There's president of the college or something or someone on tour. They walked in. And they can't go back out the way they just came in. So they all just look straight ahead and make a beeline all the way through. And they're like, and this is our gross anatomy thing. And they just kind of, they just look, they were just like shaking. Like they were so scared going all the way through. And they had to walk between the rows of dead bodies. And there's people like, you know. I just came down that. You were prepared to see that. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> at least you were prepared to see that at a um, at a school, though. Yeah. Because um, I witnessed it firsthand. I was driving. This happened in oh, no. last year. I was uh, driving down the road. I think I was just leaving my grandmother's house, and I was going to my homeboy house, and it was this guy. It, somebody had did a hit and run. His head was decapitated. Uh, you saw that? that? Yeah. It was in the middle of the street. I was like, I was driving. I was like, mm. then I got close. I was like, man. That. And then I looked, I was like, oh my God, I was completely like sick and numb. Yeah. And it was just blood, his body was here, but I don't know where the head was at. Oh no. So like, it's so you didn't great. See the head, you just saw Yeah, I, I just seen the body, just the body and blood. That's unfortunate. And at first I was like, well maybe it's just a dead animal, but I, I knew no better yeah. because it was like, it was like close. Yeah. And I was like, I told my homeboy, as soon as I got to this house, I was like, bro, I think I just seen a dead animal. He called him? I worked. <laughs> no, and then a few minutes, yeah. not even a few minutes later, about a minute later, the ambulance, cops, corners, and all of them, I was like, yeah, that's all I saw. Dead. <laughs> so, yo, at least you were prepared. This, you said yeah. you saw something? Huh? You're just about to say a story, I know you're Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, uh, I work TV news, so, you know what? All of, like, local TV news, most of the stories, you know what it is. It's yeah. like... It's all death, 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 car wreck, car wreck, car wreck, car wreck, dead, murder, dead, murder. Honestly, all the local news is what we were running. It was almost like the murder show, especially like late at night. And they didn't show a lot on anything horrific on that. But you know, there's camera guys that go out there and shoot that stuff. I wasn't one of those guys, but I was a newbie there. So one of the things, if you're new, is like, okay, you got to watch the tape. And it's the tape of all these things and i'm like i wish you didn't show me the like, tape what? guys it was like auto accident on a it was like a car race and decapitation and just like 
you know, I don't like seeing that stuff anyway, so it's kind of like pissed. Yeah, I would be pissed too. You know, I didn't want to see that. And they're, guess what? It's right here. The image is mm -hmm. right here, forever baked in my head of those things. See, I don't mind seeing. You know, one was uh, a a monk, uh, a monk who set himself on fire in in, in in Nepal when the Chinese took over again. And basically, the Chinese came in, and I'm oh, sorry, I, well, I shouldn't talk about this. Well, they came in and and they killed a lot of the 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 uh, Buddhists, and then they put their own Buddhists in. <laughs> Just, yeah. Ooh. So that was the protest, you know. That's true. You know, the cover of uh, Rage Against the Machine album, the famous one of the guy on fire, that's yeah. one of those guys, you know, in protest of what's happening. Did they set themselves on fire? Yeah. That's Because that's one way I would not want to go. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, I, I think with me, it's like I have a very, I'm very weird. <laughs> I like seeing things, but I mentally can't handle it if I think yeah. about it in a deep way. Yeah. I get yeah. very upset. Yeah. But I see that I seems see normal. <laughs> like I did this and okay, this has nothing to do with humans, but I did a I was an editor at um at PCC for the program for our program and I started getting into it and a friend of mine runs an uh animal shelter. But anyways, long story short, I did an interview and was gonna write a story on this. She opens up a freezer and I just cats are falling. Yeah. I'm an uh, animal person. Yeah. For some reason, I didn't it didn't do what I thought it would do to me, which is why I was like, I could do this. I could do this. Sure. Um, because I can see things and know things and hear things and right. be okay. Because I'm kind of twisted. I think we all have to be twisted in some way. And I don't mean it in a bad way. I don't mean that. You mean the sense that we're humans and we have to, reality we is reality. unpleasant in many ways. So we have to, which is we have to deal with that. Exactly. <laughs> what the hell? I think a decomposing body is something that you probably wouldn't want to see. No, no. I think that's or smell or anything. anything. Yeah. It was animals. It was different. Yeah. So I can't relate to some of these. But your story. Yeah. Like yeah. you were right. You, I mean, you None know. None of us I, want to see that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I know that came off talk. We were all talking. But it's all scary. It's horrific. Well, I mean, yeah. shows are based on things that frighten us or that bother us in some kind of way. And these are all things that, guess what? All those shows and movies we talk about are based on these kinds of real life events and things that bother us I and scare us. I think the worst thing to, to look at today, it, it still haunts me, is the, uh, the Emmett Till guy, the Emmett Till boy that got murdered. That, that shit is graphic to me. I think that's oh, the worst thing I've ever I don't know. I don't I think I need to see it either. Yeah, no, it was, I mean, it was, <laughs> he looks like a completely different person. He well, looks it, like it was monster. back in the day. It was, yeah. What year was it? Like 59, I believe. Yeah, it was very, it was very sad. It was, but it was a race. It was a racism thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The kid was uh, this white woman basically lied and said this kid whistled at him. Her and even if he did, I don't. Didn't, he really was killed he, by a yeah. mob. Yeah, of white men. I've seen stuff like that. I mean, I went to the, uh, gosh, okay, here we go. Um, in Washington D.C., I went to the Holocaust Museum, oh, wow. and it is horror all the way through. Like, it, you, it's a hard thing to walk through. They take it seriously. They do it right. I think people need to go through there and say human beings did this to each other not that long ago. And guess what? Human beings are still doing this to each other yeah, yeah. in certain ways, you know. And it could happen again on that magnitude. I'm not. I don't think we're really any better off yeah, than we were back the, then, to be honest. The biggest one we had was September 11th to uh, the date when we had the uh, you know the mass attack and everything. Terrible. So you know. It's, it's possible. Okay. Which led to a war it. where a million people died. Mm -hmm. All so that scared. murder. Mm -hmm. I'm so scared of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, war's no joke. It's not. It man. doesn't care who you are. Did you hear about the guy that predicted that we were going to have a World War Three? And he said he was a time traveler? I don't know. I didn't watch it. My brain oh. was <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you're a guessing person <laughs> and a betting person, yeah. you know. Yeah, we could sit here all day talking about it, I guess. You look but, at a history um, book mm -hmm. and it's really like, War, 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 war. <laughs> yeah, but he like claimed that he was from the future and said right. Trump was oh, elected well. twice. But anyways, yeah. So like, <sighs> depressing. Yeah, and there's a lot of depressing things. Like the, the news is depressing. Everything's depressing. Which is why it's funny how we choose to watch these horrific movies. And that's how the news make their money, though, <laughs> just by showing the gore side of life. Because if they talk about oh, it's a nice sunny day, look at these kids doing this, they wouldn't get paid. So 
somebody want to see you. Well, well I don't know. I think that's somebody in charge saying that, honestly. Yeah. I think people do want to see good stories. I think I, people I, I do. Really they want it the, uplifted. But, yeah. you know, it's... And there are news st- news companies that actually do show good stuff. I hate to say it, but uh, when Al Jazeera was really big here, Al Jazeera America, mm-hmm. they had an equal amount of positive stories about America, along with all the usual stuff in news. But that they've been removed out of our viewing. Uh, same with uh, Canadian World News. Mm-hmm. Really good, very evenly balanced. You didn't oh, feel yeah. like you had a bunch of people on one side or the other convincing you that one side's bad over the other, which is all we got now. And so, yeah, we're America right now, but guess what? Two halves have been made to hate each other, and it's really, it's not really one side or the other's fault. It's people that drive them that way. It's the herd is driven that way, and it's kind of sucky. Why are we talking about politics? It's my fault. I'm sorry. Anyway. Well, horror. It is horror related. You know? The most terrifying thing in the world is Republicans and Democrats and (laughs) politics and watching the news and you shouldn't be voting for this person. That's terrifying. And those are just two whatever names. It's just good dealing with bad you know, on on all sides and how sides are used to divide us. Yeah, as I say, there's there's a lot of divide. But, you know, I think that even if um, it, there's a lot of division other than just politics, it's, you know, with races, and I hate that the most. But the thing is, you know, younger generations don't seem to be as bent out of shape about differences and stuff, so I've got some hope there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> you know? These, 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 these kids today, they don't give a damn about white, black, Mexican. No. Kids. It's the older generation that's yeah. keeping this shit alive. And it's just it's, like you're trying to cut it off yeah, with a knife. It's so funny, though. Yeah. So funny, a girl I went to high school with who had this like huge crush on me, she doesn't like me for my life choices now. Right. And it's funny because we're the same age, you know, mm-hmm. this is just, I'm, I guess, millennial. Right. She has more holy views now. Right. So it's like... It's cla- it culture matter. clashing. Yeah, people are, yeah, like, it doesn't yeah. really matter. I mean, I'm not perfect, for sure. I mean, yeah, I've gotten older and have different views than what I had when I was a kid, but mm-hmm. they're for a greater good. It's not for... Selfish reasons. Yeah, and other people <laughs> putting things in your head. Right. Yeah. I'm all about trying to figure your own way through stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. No one is going to tell me how it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, sure. I'm going to tell me your deal, and I'm going to listen to all these other deals. I'm going to make up my own mind. That's, That's how I am. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm a middle yeah. jump person. All y'all are jumping off a cliff. I'm, I'm going to look for an alternate uh, option here. <laughs> yeah. That's society. That's how it's written. I know. I know. I know. You get rid of the world. You get lost. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I don't want to rock no boats. I just want to make it to the other side. <laughs> right. Anyways. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> All right, we can blame the ending on me if we want to. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. <laughs> Randall's like, mm-hmm. I, start I like talking about this stuff. life and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I mean, it makes it body stuff anyway. We're talking about the morgue. It's all Randall's fault. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Randall's, it is Randall's fault. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, we're talking about real life, how real, how stories that we watch and stuff for escape have their tendrils embedded into, you know, real things. But that's all stories. Yeah, that's very true. You know, with everything. And we're kind of drawn... Why? Okay, this is something. Why are we drawn to horror? Why are we drawn to disturbing things? What is that? What do you think? Do you think it's because most of our lives are actually... You don't really have a lot of that. It's sort of this, and then that's so odd and different. And a very much a reality. You think it's because of that that makes us kind of go, what? I think it's a you know? curiosity. Yeah. You, you want to see. It's like me and my mom, we talked about this one time. It's like we want to see. We want to see, like, you know, death, but we don't want to see. Like, yeah. We want to we wanna, we wanna see. It's like you're daring things, yourself but, to. But we don't. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know. It's like, a, to me, it's like a curiosity thing. I agree. Yeah. Just, just, I'm very curious. Just curious right. to know what it's like, but you don't want to be, hopefully, you don't no. want to be that person on the right. road receiving it. I, I think I'm dealing with, like, I was way more curious when I was younger, 
And now I'm like, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to see this. I've seen stuff. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> took a while. Took a while. <laughs> When you tend to get a certain age, you will change your change your view as much as that goes. Uh, I've I've talked to a lot of people who were my age or even older that they they found the same way. Where it may, I'm not saying the exact age because I can't really say no. exactly. Oh, you know, yeah. at eight o'clock at you know when you turn you know whatever <laughs> like a like a switch. <laughs> yeah, it was just like all of a sudden it just like does that. But after a while, I mean, you start looking at life and you start looking at you know like. You know, not millennials per se, not even millennials, but just people who are twenty in their twenties or and and how they act toward. Because like I said, I've been around a lot with being in the military. I've been around a lot of twenty years old, you know, early teens, late teens, early twenties. Oh yeah. That just like, I I wonder if they they did, did I they care, have consciousness? Did, was I like them when at that age? Because <laughs> yeah. they're like. Oh, I, you know, worried about this and worried about my hair and all this other stuff. I mean, guys, my uh, girls, guys, you know, yeah. and I'm like, oh, well, that, yeah. And that kind of I thing. Still, I was I'm very like, well, body conscious because I was making fun of how I looked all Well, not body conscious per se, I but know. just like and very looks. materialistic, uh, yeah, very no, shallowest the view of stuff oh, or whatever type thing. And I got I'm like, you. Right. was I ever like that? I was just in fear of being picked on, so I just like. But you make such a point. And it's just like. And I'm just like, I, I, even then, at that point, I was what not not even I wasn't forty yet, but um, I was just looking, and I'm like, and I told them, I said, once you get out of old age, you won't freaking care about what. No, going on, you no, know? yeah. You won't care what you look like. You won't care what no. you, you know. And there, like I said, there is a time where there's, I think you get to the point where it's just like, I don't care what people think about me. I yeah, don't, right. I yeah, don't look care. Good. I'm with you. I'm with you. There. I don't totally. Care. I completely. Agree. I don't. You know, like I said. And, I told this to uh, you know, a friend of mine, and the funny thing about it is I had got an argument with him like later on, and I said, you know what, remember when I told you I don't care what people think about me? You're part of them. <laughs> because I really don't care what you say, okay, think about when you're telling me this, because right. I don't care. If you yeah. focus on what everybody and, got to say and worry about mm-hmm. you, yeah. You'd be damaged for life. Yeah. Yeah. You and, are. And, and you, I, yeah. I, was kind of, I was damaged for life when I was younger. I'm, right? I'm not now, so right? <laughs> I prefer I it. I learned a lot when I was young. I, didn't, like, I can't people say, like, oh, you're only 25, you haven't been through life. Oh, but that's when stuff changes. Right. That you, you get a, you get a <laughs> stronger <laughs> opinion about what your belief system is, though, in those yeah. 20s. Yeah. I'm 25, does not make me 45. But, no. but, you know, and I don't feel 45, and I don't look 45, and I'm not 45. But I have been through a lot. At the age that you're supposed to be through a lot, and then when I get 35, I'm gonna say the same thing. I've been through a lot, and then right. you're gonna say no, you haven't lived because you're not 60 like I am. Right. Excuse me. We all go through our own things. Exactly. I'm not gonna go through everything. And, and I'm sorry, I've met people in their 60s that are they don't know that they, they didn't get it. They're gonna have to go through it again because the <laughs> yeah. Well, we all. It's like yeah, no. <laughs> like I don't know how it feels to you know had you lost your dad at a young age, right? 21. 21, you lost your dad at a pretty young age. I don't even know how it feels to have a father. You lost your mom. I haven't lost my mom yet. You know, you've been through your things. I don't mean to break up everybody's things, but right, you but, get yeah. it. I, I've lost my grandpa. Mm-hmm. I've, I've had someone I love very, very much murdered. You right. know, so it's like we all go through our things that we do not know how it feels. Even if we do, it's not who we are, that we don't deal with it the same way. Right. But I, I can say, like, I've, you know, I am a lot like you in the sense I was really picked on when I was younger mm-hmm. for, for who I was and what I looked like and stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, I have my whole backstory right. that not everybody knows about, but it makes me who I am and I've been through it. And I'm so much stronger for it. And I've actually sure. lived through it again and again just to right. be who I am. I don't need to live through it again, though. I'm good. No, I don't want to live it But I understand saying, what you're saying. You know, it's like, you know, I want to save people so bad, but I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to save you. You need to go through it. You know, like if you have to, uh, depending on what it is. I mean, I well, think I think in some ways, if you you and you say you know you say that you what you just said about like that you don't you know you let them people go through it. If you had a child, you would not want them to go through that child. No, for, right. what you did again. No, no. Right. and I don't have a child, so I'm not gonna say I'm not yeah. I'm not saying up here a parent saying you don't know about raising children. I'm not saying raising my children, child. I don't really I'm just saying, reference. But <laughs> I, would not, I would not. I have a niece yeah. who I'm close to, and I would not want her to go through what yeah. I did. Right. With, no. As a, as a, you don't you know, want that. As a teacher for all of y'all, I feel responsible to like 
talk about the hangups and the problems I've run into with doing what we, what we teach and stuff like that. Like, I just want to make, and maybe it's too much, but I'm trying to get you an idea of like, okay, use that passion, be creative. You can make anything, will to power, 100% believe in, but it's hard. It's really hard, you know, and it's hard on the soul. It's a test. It's still hard. I've been doing this 20-something years. I mean, it's difficult, you know, but I it's, like it's a, I wish I'd been smarter about certain things early on. So those are the things I try to remind you all about. Like, uh, you know, you know, a little business class is not a bad thing to kind of do and go through, you know, learning how to look after yourself in a place Knowing a few softwares is good, and knowing a few can maybe lead to you understanding other ones. Knowing how to empower yourself. We're in the age of the of the internet. I didn't have that when I was younger. We, you wanted to know an answer, the library maybe, knowledge dictionary, dictionary, you run into, books. But now you have instant access to all of our knowledge collected in one place. So you can go and research it. You can build a house, build a car, build build a nuclear device with the information that, that you can come across. I just feel like if it's anything you want in life, it's never going to come easy. You're going to have to fight for it. You know, and but the, there's all kind of variations. Some things you think you'd never have a shot at. Oh, I won the, or what, won the, you know, the $20 million lotto or something. Right. You're not, it's not going to happen, but, you know, it's, it happens to Don't somebody. Don't say never. <laughs> yeah. It could happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, no, I totally agree. And that's what I love about life is that it, it, you know, it's really hard and it sucks sometimes and you just feel like you're living to die. <laughs> but you, <laughs> but you are. But if you make it through that. But you're living for an experience good. and to leave a mark. Yep. For the future souls, and whether that be human beings mm -hmm. or whatever else comes to happen. I think there is sort of a, and this sounds weird, but a caring about the species sort of and the planet. It'd be nice to know once you die that the planet the planet will go on. It may change and kill all the, what we call life on it away. It'll still be a rock in the universe. Oh, but, uh, you know, I'd like to think that we got more than 12 years, <laughs> you know. 12 years? You well, 12 years to 20. reverse the damage of, uh, of all the carbon and plastic that have infiltrated everything. I mean, there's microfiber plastic in everything we consume and drink now. And it's may kill us. Uh, I, I, as a personal view, I think yeah. that I do. But <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that all that stuff is wrong by yeah. any means. But right. There's a lot of things. That but, you know, happen. like I said, I, I, and I don't know, there again, I'm getting that age too that I'm like, I don't, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, it's just like, and I'm not, not that I don't care, you know. And like I said, everything they said may be true. Everything to the death. It's beyond our control. All yeah, we can do exactly. is vote. That's it. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, just like. You know, I think you're, you're right. I feel the same way. I don't think it has to do with age thing, to be honest with you. Uh, my mom's always like, I don't understand. You need to care. I'm like, I just, what am I going to do by caring? But the thing is, yeah. But, you know, you guys went to school. Remember the people that were mean and shoved you out of the way and grabbed what they wanted? Oh, yeah. And kept going, and they never hardly ever got in trouble, and they got older, and they were still doing that all the way through high school. And then after that, yeah. guess what? They're in society with us, too. They're going <laughs> to – they're bent for power, whoever the they is, yeah. you know. That's so it's, true. It's a weird thing, and I'd like to think that everybody was brought up like me, but that's not the case. I know. Well, there you got – I mean, I think that you got three in this room that probably are – they weren't brought up like you, but they're... We could probably have our own country and be all right, you yeah. know. <laughs> Mine would just be bored. We'd be kind of bored after a while, yeah. like, oh, you guys again. Okay. <laughs> I think we should get rid of human beings and bring I mean, I have enough money for internet, so... Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We could have all the internet in the world. <laughs> that is... That is... Just <laughs> yeah. But as a country, we'd be able to pay for it, though. Yeah. Because <laughs> we, don't, we don't need money. It's just ours. <laughs> I was so funny. I was at McDonald's the other day, and I was looking at a dollar, and I was like, why is this dollar this long? What? Who made it this do Why is this dollar this long? What is about this dollar that has to be this long? Wasn't that funny, sort of like the, how the foot came to being? It was some rich dude, and it was the length of his foot, and so that's a foot. I really... Oh. Have you heard of that? I, I was thinking... <laughs> I heard of that when I was younger. I don't know if that's true or not, but, you it know, it makes right. sense, because the rest of the world is based on this, like... Ah, 10. Yeah, I got it. Over here, it's like, nah. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, it, you just add, you, you have to have two sets of tools. <laughs> yeah. It's too much, too many questions that have been answered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Google can't say everything. And I don't want an answer. I just think it's funny. I do. I want to answer everything. <laughs> I do want to, I know uh, we're probably way ahead. Uh, we're way ahead. No, but we're about an uh, hour and 39 minutes. Okay. I'll take one more stab at a, a, a uh, show. Good. I know um, we're kind of direct, redirecting uh, really quickly, uh, right. but uh, A Zombie is a really good show. Oh, it's yeah. On the w, it's on CW. Um, it's it's about a, basically it's about uh, a, she was a graduate, uh, she was a graduate student, she was going to be a doctor. And she on her graduation night, she goes out with to a party to celebrate it. And she doesn't go with her boyfriend or her fiance at the time. She goes with a friend of hers, and uh, it's just you know she's is at a party, and then finds out that she wakes up the next day. She's a zombie, and she was bitten by a zombie, uh, uh, turned into a zombie at that party or whatever. And but she the in this world it's not in a, every every show every movie yeah, has their own little rules of rules of a zombie, rules, is, yeah. of, a zombie, mm -hmm. rules of a vampire right. whatever the case may be right um, but in this the rules of this is that she is she is a zombie that she looks has white skin but she has all of her faculties and uh, she uh, but the only thing about it is she cannot have sex with a human or she turns them into a zombie so she breaks up with her fiance and she nobody thinks she, nobody knows she's a zombie because she doesn't look that way she, she looks well she looks very zombie-ish but she they just think that they changed her she changed her look oh, right. it's got it's got it's a it's a tongue-in-cheek right show. sure it's not serious tongue-in-cheek right. yeah know what mean. it means uh uh not not not, not super serious, serious but oh, okay. not not super funny either. Mm -hmm. It's a you know it's a oh. it's you know kind of got it's got some serious mess to it, but it's a, it's got some uh, you know funniness to it too. It's based on a comic book, but anyway, um, and her she's lives as a, uh, she's got her uh, job is with the coroner in that uh, Seattle. It takes place in Seattle, and uh, she got uh, she become uh, she. Uh, Becomes partner with a police officer because she uh, she st started getting into the uh, point where she could touch somebody or not tell about she not touch somebody well she could eat somebody's brain and then get their memories yeah that's an uh, so movies. she can uh, and gets and that's the uh, thing where she can eat your brain and like the victim of the vi the uh, victim of crime comes to her and she eats their brain and uh, and uh, because they're dead, and uh, then she get finds out what kind of the what happened. Uh, what happened maybe who, that's who, pretty cool. Who, who killed them? There's a. It's a good show. Reminds me, there's some old, real life things where cannibals. One of the reasons they would eat other people is to get their power. You know, and that's a real kind of thing. And there's a group actually. It was a, there was this disease that happened from eating brains and stuff. But there was a a tribe of people. And uh, they all started getting sick and stuff. They were cannibals, but it, they figured out it was because from eating the brains, yeah, human brains and stuff. It was a disease attached to that. But it's kind of kind of interesting how they could be probably taken from the, the zombie lore. Well, there's a lot of yeah, oh yeah, thing. and zombie lore also comes yeah. from uh, what I think of as Haiti, where they make that. There's a powder you make from uh, blowfish and some mm -hmm. other things, and if you touch it, it gives you complete paralysis, your breathing slows down to where you can't even tell. So you think, people think you're dead. So you get buried and then you kind of come back alive. No. And then Is the person really? who did it to you, it's real. The person who did it to you can dig you up and then you kind of end up being kind of this savant kind of. Why would they dig you? Uh, to, you know, make you a slave. You know, or something like that. Oh, so they already think you're dead. Weak minded. Yeah. You're weak -minded. Yeah, you're very weak minded. weak minded. You can't really do so anything. This is a real thing that you're talking about. Absolutely. Where did that happen? Where is this? Haiti. Haiti is where you're talking Yeah. Um, uh, Serpent the Rainbow is based on that as a horror movie back in the day. It is, isn't it? You know, and if they could leave, you could leave a little bit of powder on like a doorknob. You touch it, it gets in you, you're done. But 
It's a good, it's a good show. <laughs> sorry, <Yeah. laughs> it's a good show. Anyway, sorry, it's, just <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a very. Uh, she becomes friends with the you know the coroner, the main guy, uh, and she uh, they become friends. And he finds out she's a zombie, and so he kind of helps her out. And uh, everybody else thinks that she just went on a weird way, or whatever, and went she, her own way, and kind of became a different person or whatever type thing. Does she look for a cure or something like that? He or? he looks for a cure. He's right. he's a very you know very uh, her friend doctor or whatever. He he starts right. getting you know, trying to look for a cure for her. Right. But uh, she just like basically you know like I said her her former fiance still around you know right. type character thing. yeah yeah the thing is the names of the people are very it's again this goes back to the tiny cheat thing she, her name is uh or her full name is Lydia but they call Liv. her Liv <laughs> and her last name is Moore Liv Moore uh. and her boyfriend's major her first name his first name's Major uh. Lily White. Is his last name Major Willi- Lily White? Major Lily White. <laughs> mean Major uh, White, like white guy, you know, oh, type thing. You know, yeah. the stereotypical white guy, type, yeah. you know, very, mm-hmm. you know, go, you know, what, ready to do the right thing and like, be, you know, that kind of thing. Right. That's yeah. it's, it's, it fits his character. Yeah, 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 exactly. It goes kind of with the character. It's sort of thing. like uh, it's, it's it's you know a wink like, and a nod is sort of the same kind of. Yeah, I mean, about that, it's, yeah. it's, it's a very, it's a good show. It, they only have one more season left, because they already said they only going to have the last season. Still but it doesn't start until, like, the spring. How many seasons are there? Let's see. Three. So three zombie shows Four on at the same time. Yeah. That's crazy. I Zombie, Z Nation, yeah. and Walking Dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, four. And uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. Fear too. of the Walking I, Dead. I, I don't count that one. Which <laughs> I really liked. <laughs> You're a freak, though. Oh, yeah. I, but, no, thank I'm you. Kidding. I take that as a, as a compliment. Uh, I'm a freak. I, hate, I, I, hated, I liked the first season. I hated that first season of Fear of the Walking Dead, so I was done with it. Uh, I liked <laughs> it. I liked it. I liked one of those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But... Anyway, I gave it a chance. Gave it the full season, <laughs> but uh, I I understand I, what, what is six, annoying. Yeah. Though. I do understand. It was, that. <laughs> it was six episodes of the first season. And I was yeah, definitely. certain characters like oh god, yeah. none of the characters I liked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I liked was the situation, and what I liked was like other parts of um, like you get a little bit about when it's happening. And then also kind of the breakdown of the military and some of those services. You get a, well, little, that's a little bit of that. That's the, late, uh, yeah. that's the stuff I liked in it. Okay. You know. The first part was all like something's happening and, and what's going yeah. on. But I like that they aren't telling us how the zombies happened. I like not getting any of that information. I didn't know they were doing that. They still were doing that on Walking Dead mm-hmm. too. But I still watch Walking Dead. Yeah. But, um, but the thing about Eventually it is I'll catch what up. I didn't like about... The Fear of Walking Dead. It was just like that guy. Uh, not to, it wasn't because he was black, but it was the, the, his character or whatever type thing. It was like, who is this character? Ooh, he's kind of quirky. Ooh, that's a, we got a quirky guy in here. Right. And where is he from? Ooh, his history. And it just to me, it was blatant. Like, oh, uh, we got to have a guy here that's got to be, you know, this way, and you know that kind of. It, it just felt it too, just felt too much, ma- you know. baked by. Everything else by not storytellers, yeah. but people like looking at lists and charts and saying, "That's that's, that's this, mark. Let's check the yeah, yeah. list yeah. now. We gotta have this person in here, and we right. gotta have that person in there, and we gotta have that." Person For me, in I here. like the situations. I like they're down. in a boat. It's kind of interesting what happens in the water and stuff. But zombies, water are unaffected. <laughs> they can walk across the ocean, kind of like in uh, Fulci's Zombie. I don't know if any of y'all saw that movie. Really good zombie film from back in the day. In the, in the City of the Walking Dead, it's back then. Let me ask you Zombie's pretty good. Yeah. One question. Then we'll wrap it up. Do any of y'all believe that a zombie can be real? I believe that through medical science, they'll figure out a way to uh, bring a body back. It won't be that. It'll just be an animated corpse. The Russians have already done it to an extent. They brought back the head of a dog. What? Yeah. How, how is it possible? Science. It's I don't know. Science. It was a, lo- a little bit. And then they, they sort of have a nod to like Frankenstein. You can put electricity into a body and it'll move and you can cause that kind of thing to happen. But uh, it was something about where they removed a head. You can Google search it. Where they, I think they removed a head of a dog and then they kept it alive. Something weird like that. That's messed up. Yeah. And I'm just, yeah. 
But they did unspeakable things. The Russians. The, well, scientists, I mean, no group of that kind of thing is really free of anything. You look at, like, well, the Nazis, my mm-hmm. God, on real people. The experimentations they did on real people is horrific. And animals, both. No mm-hmm. one was safe. I mean, horrible, unspeakable, brutal things they did to living things. And a lot of the things in our today's society and our technology is because of some of that. And it's strange and scary. And with that, we are at the end of our seventh episode of P114, uh, the very horrific show today. Hope we didn't make anybody uh, throw up or anything like that. I don't think we did. Um, But um, any closing words from anybody before we shut this down? All right. Well, uh, tune in next uh, next time, everybody. Happy Halloween. <laughs>